Hi there guys, just thought I'd share with you uh, one of my most recent purchases. I did sell my Speedmaster just after Christmas, uh, primarily because I wasn't actually wearing it that often because of the water resistance side of things. And as some of you, some of you would know, uh, here in Australia it's absolutely blazing hot. Um, half the country is on fire and as a result we are spending a lot of time in the ocean or the swimming pool just trying to keep cool. Uh, as an example, uh, yesterday uh, was uh, one of the hottest days recorded. In fact, it was the hottest place on Earth, uh, Sydney. They recorded a temperature of 48 degrees. Um, so, yeah, uh, the Speedy, um, uh, whilst it can manage those temperatures, uh, it isn't particularly great for uh, seawater. So I have made a couple of purchases. Um, the first one being this little beauty which is the Seiko Reference SPB077J, also known as the Baby Marine Master. Um, this is a 44mm watch. It has the 6R15 movement. It has an aluminium um, bezel with a sort of a lacquer gloss on the top of it. Uh, it is a dia shield uh, coated bracelet and well, you can see I'm just trying to get to focus it has sort of an angled oyster style um, bracelet it is a screw down crown unsigned um, it does have the um, let me just put it the right way it does have the oh there you go it's gone that's a bit weird. Anyway, the uh, it does have that awful X for prospects, um, which is the only real downer for me. Um, I would prefer that that wasn't on there, but uh, it does have beautiful polishing on the sides, and I'm hoping that the dia shield will actually um, uh, keep this uh, from scratching too much. It has a uh, dual security clasp. So the first one being the two pins there and then the Seiko um, fold over clasp. Um, particularly, not particularly heavy um, and the uh, crown, uh, sorry, the uh, the bezel does um, sit perfectly uh, at the uh, the 12 mark, which is uh, obviously some of you would know that's not great with Seiko sometimes. And um, in terms of timekeeping, it seems to be okay. It's running probably about two or three seconds per day fast. Uh, but granted, I have only been wearing it, um, you know, a week or so. So it will need a little bit more time to settle down. And uh, the other thing as well, it does have an anti-reflective coating on the inside. Uh, as you would expect with uh, all Seikos, the loom on this is outstanding. Very, very bright. Um, yeah, anyway, this is the uh, the new baby, and I will do another video tomorrow on the uh, the other watch that I purchased. Uh, please feel free to have guests or um, put some comments down below, and um, yeah, I'll do another video for you shortly. I'm looking forward to doing that. Take care, guys. Bye.